The following contest is scheduled for a two-hour time limit. Introducing first, coming from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, wrestling reporter and columnist Justin Labar. And his opponent, you. Call, tweet, email because you can go one-on-one -on -one with Justin Labar in wrestling reality right now on Trib Live Radio. Where, oh where, are the John Cena haters? Where are the you can't wrestle chants? That's right. He just shut you up last night on national television. Justin Labar, Wrestling Reality, one-on-one -on -one with me here on Trib Live Radio, presented to you by The Pub at Tonydale. We're going to be back there on Monday, March 11th, doing another Raw pre-show, so we'll talk more about that as we go on. Boy, oh boy, Jack Swagger gets caught with some pot. He remains in the nice number one contender spot there. Glenn Beck's calling wrestling fans stupid. I'll get to you later, Glenn. And now John Cena just told everybody, come on, man. There's a reason why I'm John Cena. An epic, epic story was told in the ring. Okay? Pornography shows a story of sex and raw passion. John Cena and CM Punk just gave you athletic pornography. Okay? That's what they did. Actually, that sounds real weird. Let's just stick with John Cena and CM Punk gave you a wrestling match. Okay? Too often, these smart fans like to talk about... And I, I guess they feel educated or, or feel like they know what they're talking about. They have to talk about, oh, this guy's a good worker, and then this, guy, this guy's a bad worker. Worker has nothing... Like, worker does not mean that you come up with a new move or something you did on a trampoline or some random combination that you've never seen before. A good worker can do all those things, potentially, potentially, but that's not what defines a good worker. Worker is popping the crowd. Worker is knowing how to get a reaction out of the crowd, good or bad, depending on what your character is, and do it appropriately to tell the story and take the fans on an emotional roller coaster ride. That is Worker. There's a difference between good Worker and being a good, pure wrestler. If I had to pick one, you want to be the Worker because the Workers make the money, okay? Lance Storm is a great wrestler. Worker? Eh, not so much. John Cena last night and CM Punk. The story was... Now, now, first off, the fact they had the match, that's the stupid part, okay? That's the dumb part. John Cena, I don't care how heroic of a babyface you are, you just beat 29 other guys in the Royal Rumble to get your WrestleMania opportunity to fight The Rock for the title. Why would you just put that on the line against CM Punk? They needed to make the match. There were some potential things that could have came out of the match. Plus, it's a big-time main event to promote. So I understand the business-wise. Logical in the storyline, eh, again. Not crazy about it, but nonetheless, we have the match. It's a great match. Normally when you're bashing John Cena and his five moves of doom, John Cena, is he has time restraints. Five-minute TV match or the business that needs to get accomplished doesn't have anything to do with him showing off all the different moves he can do. That's not, that's not the point of what he normally has to do. This was a case last night where he was given a lot more to reign. They were given, I mean, 20-plus minutes I mean, two commercial breaks in there, and they were given a chance to almost resolve a story in some regards. The story is, John Cena is putting his WrestleMania title shot on the line against a guy who just had one of the longest title reigns ever in CM Punk, and a guy in CM Punk who John Cena hasn't been able to beat in the last couple years. That's the story, and they did it the way they had to. Nice, a nice match that had a pacing that built. The normal signature moves, that didn't cut it. That didn't. I mean, how they were, they were doing the signature moves at 10 minutes in. They were still another 10 minutes to go. They showed desperation by John Cena pulling out a powerbomb and CM Punk doing the illegal move or the band move into it to be a pile driver. All the false finishes. Cena laying motionless on the ground until the count of eight or nine before hopping back in the ring. Pops the crowd. That's the kind of drama they needed to draw this out. There was no interference, much to all of our surprise. No shield, no Undertaker, no nothing. And after watching that match back a couple times today, that was the right decision. They let this have finale. They let it mean something. It actually felt like the WWE Championship of WrestleMania was the end-all be-all the way it should be. John Cena just shut up. All of the critics. I'm not you saying you have to love John Cena. In fact, it's okay for you to hate John Cena. Do you want to know why John Cena makes money? Do you want to know why they never turned John Cena heel? It's because he gets the biggest reaction out of everybody. Those that love him and those that hate him. He worked. All of you. 
Trib Live Radio, 412-320-7925. Sports Talk at TribWeb.com. Tweet me at Dust Labar. Come on, man.